Just one month into the new year and our top prediction for 2022 is already playing out before us. Let's break it down. So my top prediction was that they were going to lift the mandates, ease restrictions, but in return, they were going to pull the rug on the U.S. economy and that we're going to head into very turbulent economic times. So let's break it down. We have the mandates being lifted across the world. We're seeing Europe, Great Britain lifting all the restrictions, right? But we have an economic crash on the horizon and some would argue that we're already in the middle of it. If you specifically look at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin's down 40%. Technically speaking, that is a bear market. No one wanted to hear that when I called it back in December, but here we are. Now we have record inflation if we use the data that they give us, which is BS. CPI data coming in at 7%. Real inflation is probably double that, at least. We don't have good solid data, but if we run with the numbers that they give us, it's still the highest inflation in nearly 40 years. Now, continuing on, the Federal Reserve is telling us that they are going to end tapering in March. What does that mean? It means that the pump is done. For all intents and purposes, to make it simple for you, the pump is done. Now, they're also going to do three to four interest rate hikes this year. That is going to effectively pop the debt bubble, our debt-based economy that has kept this thing afloat since the 08 crisis when we didn't fix any of the issues of 08. We just kept it going and ramped it up even more. Now, what are we facing, though? Supply chain crisis. You guys are seeing it all over the place. I don't talk about this much because so many other people are covering it, but you guys are seeing it. The, the pictures of the grocery stores, the truckers being shut down. You guys are seeing it. Now, that is, that is for all of our production and all of our materials, all of our raw goods and materials that we need to build houses, to actually produce things and to actually have a thriving economy. But let's take it down one step further. When I'm talking about shortages down here at the bottom, I'm talking about your essentials. I've been warning about this one for a while and why I say we're making more preparations than just holding some crypto, right? We're actually stocking up on essentials that we're going to need so that we don't get caught in a pinch when we do have shortages. And, and, and it's not saying that the shelves are gonna go absolutely bare, even though they are in some places, but we're talking about being able to stay afloat, having 30 days supply, having um, the essentials. If you're out of power for 10 days because you get hit by a hurricane, you can survive. That's what we're talking, it's not about being a crazy prepper, guys. This is the situation at hand. And as I stated at the very beginning, this is one of my top predictions for 2022 that's already playing out. They lifted the mandates. We're, we'll get our freedom restored. We want to crack a beer and have a good time. But they pulled the rug on our economy and you need to stay vigilant and prepared.